Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's another blistering summer day, it feels like, here on the farm. It's about 88 degrees, it's supposed to be 90 tomorrow on September the 23rd, second, something like that. Anyway, um, go down here and dig some tractors back out. Uh, I'm gonna try to work on the uh, silage wagon slash hay wagon conversion. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for a little bit of that. Uh, show you what exactly I'm gonna do and see how it works out. I've got one issue that uh, I didn't think about till after the fact, um, but we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, I'll talk about it a little bit while I uh, see if I can get it tore apart. Stay tuned. Okay, well, we were successful in getting the uh, floor chains out, the rear shafts and sprockets off. Have no idea what I'm doing, but it's on the ground. So now we've got to uh, unbolt this. Um, there's a piece of angle on the back. Uh, I'm gonna leave that bolted to the sideboard and take the front bolts out there and just let this unit fall to the ground. I've gotta get the drive shaft off of it. And uh, then I'll pick it up with a loader and move it. And I think that'll be everything I need to take off of it to get it ready. I'm not sure how floppy the sides are gonna be. It's got that support up there and I feel like I'll knock my head on that. So I'm not sure uh, what we're gonna do. Uh, definitely for this cutting this year, I'll leave the sides on it in the back. I'll make do um, to see how structurally sound it is once I get that front off. The issue that I had um, was my chute on the baler i'm not sure on turning radius if i've got enough tongue extension to let it turn you know to clear the uh front there if not you know i could take it back to the first upright but if i do that i'll probably just end up taking the sides off of it and using it as a flat wagon but you know there's still some good wood there i can probably use those for uh purlins on my lean-to shed back here for the hay bind so i'm not worried about that but Anyway, try not to babble too much in this one, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's getting late. I did a couple other things before I started on this, so we'll get back on it tomorrow and continue on with the silage wagon 
conversion into a hay wagon. Stay tuned. All right, well, we're back for another day. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I worked on this last, but regardless, we're gonna try to get the front off today. I'm kinda in a time crunch this week and weekend. So uh, bring you along for a little bit of it. Try not to bore you too much with it. We're gonna see if we can get this whole uh, feeder mechanism off the front. Like I said, see how floppy the sides are and go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I got all the bolts out. I'm, I'm sure I forgot something, but I guess we're just gonna let it fall to the ground if it'll uh, work loose. I got one more bolt to take off on the other side. Well, it's loose. Um, the bottom of the conveyor is kind of notched into the main frame of that, so I'm probably end up going to have to go get the loader. Maybe I might can pry it out far enough to let it fall over. So let me see what I can do. Well, upon further inspection, I forgot the four bolts there on the center shaft support. So I think if I get those pulled out, uh, I should be able to pry right off. I've put. Uh, four or five bolts back in the sides to support it. Um, gotta figure out how to get in there and get those out. I can't really be in two places at one time, but let's see what we can do. guys real quick uh hay wagon conversion is complete everything worked out great sides are a little floppy to be expected uh we'll address that later on we'll see how it does with some hay in it to begin with uh the tongue issue that i was talking about with the distance uh that tongue is quite long actually i might have to slide it in a little bit so i think that my bail chute will uh clear that on turns and it should be back far enough i can grab the bail and put it in there if i can find somebody to drive the tractor but We'll see how it goes. So there it is, getting ready to be put to use. Okay guys, we'll just wrap this one up and call it good on the uh, silage wagons conversion over to the new hay wagon here at IP Farms. Uh, it's not the perfect scenario by any means. Um, you know, it is small, looks a lot smaller actually now once I got the uh, front off. It's about a little less than seven feet wide at the inside and uh, 14, 16 feet long, I think. So I mean, it's not bad, but uh, the running gear is good. The boards are in good shape. Uh, the sides are still questionable. You know, like I said, they've got a little flop to them. I think I can tighten up some bolts. May just run it till they absolutely fall off. Uh, I'm not really going to gain anything if I was to take them off other than having side access to loading it. So we'll have to see how it goes. Hooked behind the baler. Um, you know, like I said in another video, I've got another running gear uh, coming that uh, I can do some work to over the winter and, you know, build a regular eight foot wide by however long. Uh, hay wagon itself so i'm not going to need a whole lot here no more than i'm doing even when i get to bailing everything so 
anyway hopefully you enjoyed it got some different camera angles uh you know there wasn't a whole lot to it basically you know i don't know how these chains come apart or maybe i should have done some research but i just snipped them with the grinder so you know i've got several pieces of good angle iron here to keep in the scrap pile for other projects and uh you know, I might throw that front unit up on Marketplace and see if there's anybody that, you know, might would need a gear or two or some parts or pieces or something. I'm sure they're pretty rare as far as, uh, I think this thing's pretty old. If not, it'll go to the scrap yard. So, you know, no big deal either way, but uh, we'll see what we can get into. Really appreciate everybody being here and thank you for continuing to follow along the journey with me. Um, hopefully from here on out, we'll be in some working videos. Till next time, thank you.